guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm coming at you with a pretty fun video today. Thought I would share with you guys different techniques, different types of workouts, exercises to do to try to achieve that hourglass shape. That figure, girl, you know what I'm talking about? You know. You want some more curviness to that body? No problemo. There's definitely certain exercises that focus on these particular areas of the body to kind of emphasize, make your muscles a little more pronounced to kind of give the illusion basically of having an hourglass type of shape. So, so I've been incorporating these types of exercises into my routine lately while also practicing progressive overloading, so gradually increasing the weight over time, I have noticed a huge difference in my body. And now I will throw a disclaimer. It has a lot to do with diet as well, but today we're just focusing on exercises. So I'm gonna be bringing you to the gym with me. We're gonna be going through your upper body, your core, and your lower body. We're gonna talk about the different exercises to kind of emphasize those types of muscles. Okay, so we got this. Yes, we do. Let's go. But before I begin, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week. It's a new year, baby, so lots of new workout videos coming your way. So, yeah, let's go to the gym. Let's do this. Okay, so first we're going to start off with focusing on upper body. When it comes to toning up your upper body for that hourglass figure, you want to focus mostly on your back, specifically your lats. So, in other words, those wings, girls, you know. My favorite type of workout to do for this are seated rows, because it's nice and stable, I feel secure. The more you tone your lats, the bigger your back is going to appear, which is going to give the illusion of a smaller waist. If you do choose to do the rows, always make sure to keep your core nice and tight. I try not to sway back and forth. I try to keep it super stable, keep an upright position. You just don't want to throw out that lower back. So just keep your core tight, pull back, and pause. The pause is really great to keep it at full flex. And I really try to control the negative on the way down just to ensure that my muscles are engaged the whole time. As you can see in this clip, I switched to alternating. I really like to do this to kind of isolate each lat individually, just to give a little more emphasis. For me, I like to mix it up this way. Okay, so next up is probably my absolute favorite for upper body, and this is the wide gripped pull down. This also targets your lats, but it really puts emphasis on your upper back, whereas the rows put a lot of emphasis on your middle back. Wide grip is definitely the way to go with this particular exercise because it really helps to centralize all the weight on the side of your lats. Because of how my arms are extended in the rest position, I'm able to really focus on stretching and flexing my outer lats throughout the whole exercise. So with this, keep your back and neck straight. Like always, return to the rest position slowly, controlling the negative, so that way you make the most out of each rep. By targeting your outer lats, you're working on crafting the upper half of your hourglass figure. Okay, so next the hyperextension bench, or the Roman chair, which works your lower back. Guys, many people think core is just your abs. It actually includes your lower back and any other muscle that helps you keep upright. So the Roman chair is one of my favorite exercises to really target that lower back but it's also great for your glute and hammies. So what you want to do is lower yourself slowly towards the floor with your chest out, keeping your neck and spine straight. Once reaching a comfortable angle, lift yourself upwards using mainly your lower back muscles. I like to hyperextend upwards and get a good stretch in. This exercise is great for strengthening and toning your lower back, which really helps target that fat storing area. This is good to help get rid of that stubborn muffin top and helps widen that hip to waist ratio, girl, you know. I also like to hold my position at the point of stress to really feel that burn. But be careful with this exercise if you're new to the gym. If you're like me and you have a bad lower back, this could really hurt <laughs> if it's not done properly. So make sure you have full control of your body the entire set. Guys, when it comes to abs, it all boils down to diet. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
You can train your abs day and night, but you need to be burning the fat. Otherwise, you're just building the muscle underneath it, which can make you look thicker in the midsection. This means being in a caloric deficit and incorporating cardio. It's tricky, so trial and error your diet and workout routine until you find something that works for you. I found that HIIT exercises work well for me, keeping that body fat low. But remember, everybody's body is different and responds differently. So my favorite exercise for targeting abs for the hourglass shape are twist crunches. Girl, my all-time favorite ab workout for nailing that curvy figure. So this helps to target your side abs or your obliques, as well as your upper abs. I like to put one foot over the opposite knee to really get into that crunch deep. Cinch that waist. Cinch that what? Cinch that what? Cinch that waist. Cinch that what? All right guys, last but not least, we are going to be working lower body. First, I'm starting off with squats. They're a great overall lower body exercise. It's a compound workout that works your quads, glutes, hamstrings, and your lower back. Squats are a great first exercise towards overall toning up and increasing that muscle mass. Again, with this particular compound exercise, I'm very big on the progressive overloading. I am trying to gain a lot of muscle mass down in that region. So overall, I'm increasing my weight as well as my reps and sets. So as you can see, as I'm squatting, I'm incorporating a lot of the squat pulses. This is great for keeping that muscle tension constant and it's gonna really activate that serious burn girl. So if you're really looking for that added challenge and you're really trying to engage those muscles constantly and burn those legs up, definitely try pulses or even static work where you just remain completely still. Curtsy lunges are another really good one. This exercise is a bit more direct in terms of targeted muscles. Here we're nailing that gluteus minimus girl. In other words, that side booty, mm-hmm. Targeting muscles in the hip region are great for sculpting that curvature. If you're new to this workout, definitely take it slow because this really runs a high risk of injuring your lower back. You have to keep your core nice and stable. So slow and steady wins the race. I have been doing this for a while, so I tend to go a little bit faster. I promise you, girl, if there is one exercise that will make your side booty in pain the next day, it's curtsy lunges. Know that. So, next are the hip abductors. Just like the curtsy lunge, hip abduction is great for strengthening those side booty muscles. I like this exercise in particular because I'm able to really isolate my minimus and keep constant tension on the glute through the entire rep. Notice how I'm upping the weight as well. Incorporating pyramid sets helps to build muscles. So basically starting with low weight, moving up to moderate weight, to heavy weight, and then back again. For this, don't be afraid to lean on a wall or on the free weights for balance. Another great alternative to this is the seated hip abductor machine. But remember, slow and engaging movements really work that burn up. All right, guys, and last but not least, side lunges. These are not to be taken lightly, girl. So I like to end my lower body blast with some of these side lunges. These are great for working in your outer quads and glutes, which help take that hourglass shape all the way down your legs, baby girl. When performing these side lunges, always make sure to go real low into the lunge. The lower, the better, to really activate that side booty baby. guys, that was it. Those were the primary workouts that I like to do to kind of emphasize where it counts, if you know what I mean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. And of course, please do remember that diet has a lot to do with getting that hourglass figure. Essentially, it is just building muscle mass in certain areas of your body. So diet is definitely essential. So stay tuned for that because I probably more than likely will be doing a video pertaining to the diet for gaining muscle mass. So yes. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video.